This has to be one of the best shows on television. Hey everyone, welcome back to our DC review. I just finished watching the seventh episode of The Penguin and this episode makes me want more. I wish it was a two hour long special just so we could watch more of this story unfold. Everything from the flashback scenes to the modern day plots was just phenomenal. We learned about Oz's childhood and his relationship with his mother and his brothers and learning that he was the one who caused them to die was so dark. And we even saw the beginning of his admiration of the gangsters who took what they wanted and hurt people if they disobeyed. But even then, you still feel bad for him. That's just brilliant writing and brilliant acting. And speaking of the acting, Deirdre O'Connell, who plays Francis, had her best performance yet in this episode. Her switching from cocky and arrogant to suddenly all scared and confused was fascinating to watch. And one moment you're feeling almost intimidated by her confidence, and then the next you're feeling sympathy for her when she becomes all confused, and she switches between the two so well. And the younger actress who plays her in the flashback scenes did a really good job too. She got the voice spot on, and it really felt like an authentic flashback scene because of her performance. Now what I would say is that the story for this episode is right up there with the best from this season. The flashbacks worked perfectly. They didn't feel like forced exposition, but rather organic additions to the story that helped give us context to the modern day storylines. Understanding how Oz knew that Underground would be the best place for his operations and then also building the connection between him and his mother was just brilliant. We see how really all he wants is his mum to himself. He doesn't want to share her with anyone and that explains why he was so defensive of Victor trying to build that bond with her. And then also the modern day story was extremely high stakes too, especially the ending. We all thought the worst and thought Francis was going to be in the trunk of that car and because of the flashbacks and the entire season so far, we feel the fear that Oz is feeling in that moment. But I have to say, I am disappointed with how Salvatore Moroni died. A heart attack? Really? After all that has happened and how much this has all been built up, a heart attack feels like a really lazy way to go. We saw Oz throw Salvatore's gun to the back of the train and by the end of their fight, Oz is basically there anyway. All they could have done was have Oz pretend to be surrendering and then suddenly he he picks up the gun and shoots Moroni, which would have been so in character for Oz and would have been a far better way of beating him than just getting a heart attack. So I'm really disappointed with the way Moroni died. And I also think that now Batman should definitely appear in some way, or at least be mentioned, purely because of that huge explosion at the end of the episode. Sure, you could argue that he is just letting the gangs kill off each other, but clearly that explosion injured civilians, and now that is something Batman can't just let happen. In a bystanders have been killed because of this gang war, and at the end of the Batman, he literally says to Selina that he has to stay to try and change Gotham. But so far in the series, he has just let everything happen. I absolutely love the Penguin show, but Batman hasn't been mentioned at all, and there hasn't even been an ounce of fear from any gang members. It's like the Batman doesn't exist in this show. The opening scene of the Batman showed the perfect representation of how criminals should act in Gotham. As soon as that light hits the sky, they know he is out there. But we haven't seen the bat signal at all, and there seems to be no fear whatsoever. I can only imagine either Batman is not Batmanning at the moment, or the bat signal isn't being used currently, maybe because the power is out from the flood, or potentially both reasons. What this show needed was one of the smaller criminals asking the Penguin, what if the Batman shows up? And Penguin can just say, no one has seen him since the flood, and the signal hasn't been used, so don't worry. Just something simple like that explains why he won't appear or be mentioned in the show. Otherwise, it just feels like Batman doesn't exist. I get the crime lords not being afraid of him as they acted that way in the Batman, so why would they mention him? But the smaller criminals should be afraid and the fact they haven't even mentioned him so far is really disappointing. It doesn't ruin my enjoyment of the show at all, but it just feels like he needs to be mentioned at the very least. And with the explosion at the end of this episode, I feel like at the end of next episode, Batman needs to be seen maybe be investigating the explosion and learns about Bliss, and that's how he becomes really aware of what the Penguin is doing, which could lead perfectly into the Batman 2. But anyway, back to the characters who are actually in this show. With Sophia, her character arc over this episode alone was fantastic. We saw the impact that meeting with the little girl had on her, and how it really made her rethink things. And at the end of the episode, we see she realizes she wants to be free and cause Oz real pain. And we assume she means killing 
his mother there and then, but it looks like that might come in next week's episode. And I'm really looking forward to the finale. This has been a brilliant show so far, and now we have one episode to go. I'm going to predict that Oz loses his mother and maybe kills Victor, as Colin Farrell said a while back that he doubts anyone could really like his character after something he does in episode 8, and I am worried it has something to do with Victor. And I'm 50-50 on if Sophia survives. I think it ends with Oz becoming the new king of Gotham, and his empire will be thriving when the Batman 2 happens, but I don't know if Sophia will be around still. I would like her to, as she is a great character, but I don't know if it would work as a satisfying ending to this story. I really don't know what will happen to Sophia, but I do expect Oz to come out victorious and start creating his own empire in Gotham. But let me know your predictions for the finale in the comments below. As for episode 7, I would give this an 8.5 out of 10. A really good episode and a perfect way to set up the finale. But let me know your rating out of 10 in the comments below. But that is all for today's review. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. I hope to see you here again soon. So until then, have a great day. Bye.